Hey folks, it's Jim. Uh, today we're going to show the solar suitcase. Uh, this is a product by Renogy. Um, really simple to take camping, set up, so on and so forth. Uh, hopefully this video will come out alright, but you see it comes in a case. The case is reinforced with something inside of it, whether it's plastic, uh, paper, some kind of stiffener. Uh, but let me show you how simple it is to set up. You just zip it down and zip it down. Okay, case pops open, All right? Uh, you can pull the product out. Really simple to do. And you got some latches on top. I don't know if you can see them or not. Uh, I'll try and do it so you can see it. Uh, simple latches, like a briefcase, stand it up. Okay, and you set your panels, and that's it. Okay, now over here, you've got these little uh, roll-out brackets. Hopefully you can see this. If not, you'll see it on the other side. Uh, just tighten that down. Same thing over here, set up this. Tighten this down, really simple. And that's all it is to setting it up. And you can see you got your little cables in here. Be careful once you're setting it up, not to short these cables out, okay? So, but anyway, uh, that's the solar suitcase. And from here out, we're gonna pick up our camera and go, all right? So anyway, uh, that's how it looks out. As you can see, just two panels. Uh, they're hinged together very good. It's pretty well built. Uh, product it seems to be durable i've been taking it around and doing stuff with it and it hasn't broken yet you can see the simple little briefcase latches on it and so on and so forth uh, two cables here obviously you don't want to let these touch um, what i'll do is i'll try and latch them onto something so they won't connect and then we're going to connect it over here to our battery box and we're going to charge some batteries. So anyway, uh, let's take uh, our negative. Let's put that on. Get a little go in there. And we'll take our positive. Put that on right there. Okay. And uh, we've got it going now. Uh, let's charge our, I'm going to put our inverter on as well. Um, sorry about that. Over to our negative. And this one to our positive. Sorry about all the movement. But uh, there we go. We've got things going. Now we've got our inverter going. What I'm using the inverter for, I'm burning in this Voltec uh, 600 watt pure sine wave inverter. And we have our charge controller plugged into it. And uh, let's take a look at what we've got here. Turn it on. Boom, should be the light going. Looks like we're going. Uh, and we're charging uh, this little Shimatsu 7 amp hour battery that goes in my emergency lighting system which is another project that I'll show you later I'm building another one uh, with ribbon LED lights very low draw so on and so forth um, but anyway I just wanted to show you that setup for the battery box and what we're doing here today but well, let's go over and let's look at our charge controller on the Renogy and uh, have a look at what's going on uh, we got 13.4 volts at 3.3 amps. Uh, that's what apparently we're putting in. And let's see if we got some shading there. Now let's take the shading off and now let's see what we're doing. Oh, look at that. 6.2 amps at 14.1 volts. And I hope you can see all that. Let's show you again what shading does. This is just a little minuscule of shading right here. That's all that's being shaded, folks. Look at that, a whole amp drop just about. Let's shade just a little bit more, like if a branch were covering a part of the panel. You can see it's just maybe one-tenth of the panel is being covered. 
Look at that, 4.56 amps. That's how much it drops. Uh, and your voltage drops as well, 13.8. Losing about 30% of power, and that's nothing. That's less than a tenth. Maybe 7% of one solar panel is being shaded. Now let's take that 7% off. 6.3 amps, you see what I mean? So one branch, when you set up solar, one branch, small branch, can greatly affect your total output. So and let's see what our batteries are getting. Uh, Batteries are getting 6.3 amps at 14 volts. Our PV panel is putting out 14.3 at 6.2 amps. So we're not getting everything into the batteries, but that's all right. Um, but I just wanted to show shading too. Uh, uh, people have had a lot of problems with solar, and I just wanted to show uh, how a little bit of shading, even a branch, a small branch, will greatly affect your solar output. This is two golf cart batteries. Uh, it's in the box here. I only use the box for transport. Never charge or discharge batteries in an enclosed space like this. This box is only for transport. The box is always open when I'm charging or discharging. This just makes it safe for me to transport my batteries uh, back and forth to camp. Um, this is a Voltec 600 watt pure sine wave inverter. It was extremely cheap for a pure sine wave inverter. I wanted to try one. Some people had great luck with them. Some people didn't. Uh, it appears to be working well for me. Um, I don't seem to have any problem with it. Uh, so that's so far. The fans seem to have run a lot um, when I first started burning it in. And here we're charging again. Uh, and you'll see on our next project, the emergency uh, power. Uh, that we'll use that little battery for. It goes in a box and lights up some LED lights in an emergency with a dimmer switch on it. I think you'll enjoy that video too. Uh, but I just wanted to show the solar suitcase. Um, how simple this thing is. You saw how fast I set it up and was charging batteries. Uh, this is how quickly it works uh, to go to camping or out to the beach or whatever you're going to do. Obviously you don't want to carry that much weight of batteries, but this is on wheels, this box. So... Um, it makes it easy to transport batteries, and that's why I use it. Uh, and be very safe, too, folks. When you're doing this stuff, as a disclaimer, I got to tell you, uh, I used fused cables, all right, always. Um, don't mess around with this stuff. Electricity is extremely dangerous. If you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. Uh, follow the instructions on all the manuals that you get. Electricity can be our friend when it's done right. It can be extremely dangerous and, and, and in fact, deadly when done wrong. So be careful. Pay attention to what you're doing. Know what you're doing. Uh, and if you don't know what you're doing, ask somebody for help or hire a professional. But do not do this stuff alone if you don't know what you're doing. And always follow the directions of your manuals. And always wear a glove that is insulated for electricity, okay? When working with electricity as well. Um, but anyways, uh, experience, strength, and hope. I hope you like the solar suitcase. It's very simple. Uh, this thing has so many capabilities. Uh, it's ridiculous. Uh, if we go on down, uh, you can maybe read that. Uh, we go to the menu. There's monitoring, device set, parameter set. It just keeps going. Um, rated value test mode. You can even put a password in it. Uh, you know, reboot device, factory reset. Um, really simple stuff, but let's get back to the top. We're going to monitor. Okay, 16.1 volts, 5.2 amps. I shaded a little bit. Uh, yep, and, uh, but anyway, just wanted to show you that. It's a lot of amps coming out from a little simple suitcase, and this thing will get up to 6.4 uh, 6.34 amps putting into a battery of 14 volts. That's a lot of energy. Simple little product. Very easy, convenient. You saw how fast I had it hooked up and charging from taking it out of the, the pack and uh, so on. And uh, it's running an inverter, charging another battery right now. And uh, it's just uh, something I wanted to do today. I like to charge batteries outside. I don't like to do them inside. Anyway, experience, strength, and hope. Uh, just another... Uh, Simple little setup. Jim out.